Okay, we're back to dust in the wind. Well, not literally, but you know what I mean. Okay, we did the first four measures, right? We did the... Um... We did all that. That's a whole handful, right? Now, I'm gonna give you the next four measures. So, you're getting two measures plus two bonus measures. Okay, so let's do our left hand thing. The, you already know all the chords for this part, but now we're gonna play them in a different order. So now we're gonna start with our pinky down on the C chord, so C at nine, regular C, C major seven with open string two, and back to with our pinky down, C add nine. So to review, C add nine, pinky down, regular C, pinky off, open string two, C major seven, and C add nine. So it'll sound like this. Very similar to the first two measures, but not the same because now the chords are in a different order. Okay. And then the next two measures will be based on an A minor chord, and it actually is going to start on an A minor this time. So a minor, plain old A minor, A sus two with open string two, pinky down and our first finger, so our first finger is ready for the next chord, right, A sus four, and then there's this weird thing at the very end, but. Okay, so the A minor part is regular old A minor, open string two, A sus two, pinky down along with our first finger to prepare ourselves for. Now, okay, so here's what that thing is. Um, a minor, A sus two, A sus four, The very end of measure eight, or the, the last measure, when you start with A sus four with your pinky down, that's all normal, right? That's what we've already done. The first one, two, three, the first uh, six, yeah, six notes. But we don't, when we switch to A minor, we don't do do part of that. The first four notes are the same. Or first three notes, sorry. A minor. So you're doing your right. Oops, sorry. Or you do it with two with just your thumb and your finger. Like that. And then at the very end of that measure, you're plucking string five and two. So you can I guess you could keep your A minor just, just put like this. You could keep your A minor and just do string five and two, but then you have to pick up your second finger to move to string five fret two, because there's a string five fret two and a string two fret three. And the rhythm is that. Let's do that whole last uh, bar. That's the rhythm again. And that dun dun leads us into the verse, which is really pretty. I, I would actually listen to the, the, the song if you if you haven't done that. Uh, like each time I practice, I would listen to um, the part of the song that I was working on. Okay, so here's the last four measures again. We have our C section. section. Oops, sorry. That last part, I was thinking about that last part, it messed me up. Here's the A minor part again, the last two measures. And then it 
what it goes back to see. Um, but anyways, hopefully that that's helpful. Remember, practice tip, do your do your do the strumming so you can isolate the left hand, right? And then you can do the plucking the traps picking pattern by itself. Then try to put them together. Oops. See if that if that helps. I know it helps me. And I, I wouldn't ask you to do that stuff except I I do it myself. <laughs> I break songs into their, their their most elemental parts and and then try to put them back together. So have fun with this. Uh, practice hard and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.